continues. So today we're talking to men who believe it is their right, their duty to control and abuse the women who love them. Now backstage is a fellow named Chuck. Chuck is a self-proclaimed teacher. He For example, believes you said to teach this woman sitting next to me how to treat the master of their household. Everybody, this is Michelle. Welcome her to the show. Now, Michelle has been with Chuck for eight years. Michelle is Chuck's so-called pupil who says she cannot bear to be abused and manipulated for one more second. So what's it like living with him? Glory as hell. Um, I have to wake up when he wants me to wake up. Um, if I don't cook the things he wants to cook, he brings me down. He makes me make meatloaf over every day because, meatloaf. because I don't like hamburger. I don't like the smell of the So he makes you cook what you eat. Yes. Bullshit. He downgrades me. He acted just the way these two guys acted in the beginning. Yeah. He was great. Oh, he was lovely. He took me out. We did things. Yeah. You know, we had How long did that last? Two and a half, three years ago, Maury. Yeah. When he started putting his hands on me, he um, makes me call him master in front of people. Did you have to call him master when he gave you a black eye? Yes. <laughs> yes. Why I did he give you a black eye? Because I walked to the store without um, having a grandbaby with me or without him. That's a no-no. Yeah. You can't go anywhere alone. No, not unless I have to have a, an appointment with the baby. In fact, there was a there was a baby shower for your grandson, right? Oh yeah. Right. And he apparently didn't know about it or something, or he yeah. thought he didn't know he about it? he didn't know, and then when he came in, he started calling me everything. And but in front of everybody? Yeah, in front of everybody. Everybody left the baby shower. My daughter even left her baby, her own baby shower. He called, oh he called you all these things? Yeah, back in the back of my head, and my grandma. Did he really take a lighted cigarette? Yeah, it burnt me. And burnt you on the way? Yeah. He's proud. Of what he did. Yes, yes, but you know what, Maury? What? Today, it's it's stopping because I don't know. I, I, I can't do that anymore. And I'm a very proud woman. Do you see Chuck and these two guys? Oh, yes, they're all morons. <laughs> <laughs> he also tries to control you in the bedroom, doesn't he? Yes. In fact, I heard he ties you up. Yes. They do not teach me how to do these I can't believe that. Those two don't have to shut up. I'm going to murder them. <laughs> I have to walk behind him. I can't walk beside him. And then if I'm not doing what I'm supposed to, he grabs me by the back of the hair in front of everybody. Oh, my God. Does he really make you clean with a toothbrush? Yes. If it ain't clean enough, he's hit me in the back with his mops. Um, if there's a spot on the wall, I have to paint the whole room. I, I just recently got done painting my kitchen because of grease splatter. You live in a state that, you know, gets cold in the winter, right? Oh, yeah. And, and what does he do if you're not behaving the way he wants? He locks me out of my house with no shoes and coat. All night? Yeah. Don't you all want to meet Chuck? Here he is. Get your ass up here. <laughs> up your ass <laughs> why don't you shove your lessons up your ass Apparently, apparently, most of these abusers 
entering any kind of trauma, that's what you know. You're going to grow up with an inability and a lack of capacity to develop self-respect, to develop respect for others. It is very common, I'm sorry to say, that that person who grows up in that way is going to wreak their anger, their pain, their discouragement on another person and often in a violent way. And by the way, since you mentioned it, domestic violence in this country is a crime. Thank you. 